Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video, this one's called uh, The Canadian Culture and Traditions. Uh, before we start the video, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment on the channel say next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm trying to get into 500 subscribers by the end of the month, so please do help me get into that. Yeah, let's see how Canadian culture and their traditions are different from, let's say, African traditions and, I mean, way different than African traditions for sure, probably. Most probably. But let's see how different it is from American traditions because they're neighbors. Canada. Culture and tradition. Canada is famous for its pristine landscape, especially its vast mountain ranges, rich history, and diverse blend of people and cultures. It's the second largest country in the world and extends from the U.S. in the south all the way to the Arctic Circle in the north. It's crazy that it is the second largest country in the world and it only has 36 million habitants. Oof, that's crazy. Canada is made up of 10 provinces and three territories. The capital city is Ottawa, but you might also be familiar with other major cities like Vancouver. Oh, I thought Montreal was the capital. I didn't know it was Ottawa. Okay. Vancouver, Toronto, and the French-speaking Quebec and Montreal. Canada is bilingual, with English and French being the two official languages, but most people speak English at home. You might hear some common Canadian slang such as loony, a dollar coin, chinook, a warm wind that comes over the mountain in midwinter, and hog town, nicknamed for Toronto. Hog time. and daily life. Because Canada is so diverse historically and ethnically, there is no single national culture. The melting pot ideal of the neighboring United States is translated in Canada as something of a stew, with distinctive flavors from the hundreds of influences that make up the larger Canadian culture. Although French and English share official language status, the particular culture of an area is generally a reflection of the dominant language. Thus, French influences are confined largely to Quebec and New Brunswick. Canada's Aboriginal peoples also maintain their own distinctive cultures, particularly in the North, and immigrants have both integrated into Canadian daily life and continued to maintain some unique elements of their ancestral homelands. Still, the country unites to celebrate Canada Day, July 1st, which commemorates the formation of the country in 1867. 18. As a multicultural country, Canada has many exciting festivals I think that's pretty recent, to be honest. 1867? Yeah, that's pretty recent. I thought it was going to go maybe way back then. That was like, I know the USA was founded. I don't know, they gained their independence in 1776 or 1777, I think. That was almost a century before Canada. It's crazy. Festivals and cultural attractions that take place throughout the year. If you are new to Canada or a particular province, there are many ways of finding out where the latest activities are taking place. Have a look in your local newspaper, do your research online, and listen to the radio for updated information. Radio. Your neighbors and local community centers can also be a great source of information. Etiquette and customs. Canadians are generally polite, tolerant and relatively informal not really <laughs> as with any large country there is a great amount of variation in customs and etiquette from one region to the next the most obvious difference is in the province of quebec which has more french influence than the british as a result it is not uncommon for people to greet each other by kissing each other's cheeks left and right rather than the handshake popular in the rest of the country canadians are generally very polite and it is important to remember your manners. That's what I told too. But generally, let's not go beyond that. I've seen some videos. They're not that polite. If you want to get on well with people. If you are dining with locals, then table manners are fairly informal. And you need not worry about refusing particular dishes or asking questions about the food. I like that. Do make sure to say please and thank you. I like if that too. If you are invited to someone's home for a meal, it is considered polite to bring a small gift such as a bottle of wine or some chocolates. Okay. Religion. 
The range of religions practiced in Canada is as diverse as its inhabitants, and freedom of religion is a constitutionally protected right. Christianity is the most prevalent, with around 65% of the population mm. as adherents. Atheism has also been increasing steadily in recent decades, and around 24% uh, of Canadians now state that they have 24. no religious affiliation. Wow. That's Multiculturalism a lot. and diversity. Historically, Canada began developing into a strong nation by welcoming immigrants. Today, it continues to value the richness and diversity that various cultures contribute to society. In 1971, Canada became the first country in the world to adopt multiculturalism as an official policy. Wow. This the affirms first. people's rights to maintain their unique cultural identity and promoting cross-cultural understanding and harmony. Natural wonders in Canada. Yeah. Incredible natural wonders in Canada that will take your breath away. From epic Virginia Falls to the ancient Great Bear Rainforest, there are must-see spots dotted all across the country from Nova Scotia to British Columbia. Canada is home to some vibrant cities and some wonderful man-made attractions, but what sets Canada apart from other destinations are its natural wonders. Anyone that has been on Canada holidays will have had their breath taken away from just looking at the raw beauty the country offers. From cascading waterfalls to dancing lights in the sky, there are so many natural attractions which you can enjoy in Canada. Festivals of Canada Canada is truly a multicultural and secular country with people of different ethnic groups cohesively living together, participating in different festivities of colors, light, music, culture, and celebrating the oneness of life. It is the home to some of the biggest carnivals that celebrate both traditions and life, mm. making it a must for a traveler to be a part of at least some of the festivals of Canada. Relocating to Canada At least in part, to the country's welcoming attitude towards immigrants, Canada is becoming an increasingly popular destination for people looking to relocate. Mm -hmm. If you are thinking of moving to Canada, here are a few things that you might want to consider. Okay. You should be aware that the cost of living in Canada is higher than in most of the rest of the world. Oh. Property prices in major urban centers such as Vancouver and Toronto average are currently amongst some of the highest in the Western world. Wow. The price of groceries may also be higher than you might think due to the fact really? that Canada relies heavily on imports. And the same is true of petrol and alcohol, which are both heavily taxed. Although Canada generally welcomes immigrants, you still need to go through the correct process before coming to ensure that you are residing in the country legally. Be prepared for this process to be time-consuming, as it is not uncommon for it to take six months in between completing your application and receiving a response. Okay, that was a nice video. The thing that surprised me the most is that Canada is one of the, uh, how do they say it, the most expensive countries to live in within the Western world. Like last time I heard that Canada had free healthcare and I thought, okay, maybe Canada is, maybe it's less expensive to live in Canada, but I see I was wrong by, uh, about that. But yeah, that was a good video, especially like when they started showing the, the, the natural wonders and that Canada was the first country to adopt uh, multiculturalism and things like that. And the thing that surprised me also is that Canada has 24% of atheists. That's a lot. And 65% of Christians. Okay. That was a nice video. I've learned some things. I don't agree with orders such as Canadians are the most polite people out there. No, 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 no. I've seen some videos there on this channel, but let's say they're, they're cool people as long as you don't piss them off. But yeah, if you're still here, do not forget to leave a like. If you enjoy the content, comment on the channel next and subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, peace. I would do subscribe and like the video.